Hello there once again. Today, we will be putting together our Victorum Lacrosse Rebounder. So let's not wait any longer and get started. Firstly, let's open the box. Inside, you will find the necessary components. The frame parts labeled as shown, the net, the bungee cords, and the target strip. We recommend laying out everything before beginning to make the process smoother. Take the parts labeled 1 and 2, which are the largest frame pieces. Connect the two parts labeled as shown and set them aside. Next, gather the remaining parts labeled as 3, 4, 2, 5, 7, and 8, or as shown in the instructions. Begin by drawing the straight tubes labeled 7 and 8 together. Then, slide the straight tube labeled as 5 into part 3 or 4, ensuring that the three holes align. Make sure the three indicated holes are facing inward. Proceed to attach the two parts using screws in the first two upper holes. Repeat this process for the other side. Connect the previously locked 7 and 8 marked straight tubes to both sides as demonstrated. Now, you can assemble all the parts together to complete the frame setup. Connect the three largest parts of the frame. It is recommended to lay the frame down to facilitate attaching the legs. Once the legs are attached, stand up the entire frame and ensure that the upper part is leaning towards the front as shown. This positioning will make it easier to attach the net. Take the laid out net and affix it to the frame. The back side of the net is indicated by the mesh where you attach the hooks. Attach the net to the frame by the hooks. If needed, lay it down to make it easier for yourself. Fasten it tightly to increase the pull by utilizing the bungee cords. Attach the cords every fourth square to ensure the most effective tension as possible. The only remaining step is to attach the target strip. You can customize the size of the target square according to your preferences. The suggested method is to intertwine the strip between the square nets, attaching it four squares away from both edges. Lastly, you can adjust the rebounder's angles by locking into five different positions. This feature allows for versatility and adaptability to various sports. And there you have it, the assembled rebounder. We hope this video clarified the process for you. Enjoy, have fun, and thank you for watching.